Hi everybody, John Bailey, gemstone artist and founder of the Facetting Academy. Welcome back to the studio and to another installment in the official Facetron series of Facetting videos sponsored by the Jarvie Tool Company, the manufacturers of the Facetron instrument that you see behind me. Today we're going to talk about hard stopping and soft stopping. We're going to learn how to do both hard and soft stopping on the Facetron instrument. So come on over close to the machine and we'll take a close look and see how it goes. From this angle we can see the head of the Facetron and the lap. We can see all of the controls on the head of the instrument. For this video the controls we're most concerned with are the hard stop control knob and the hard stop tension knob. The hard stop control knob is facing down, the hard stop tension knob is facing sideways. Once we set an angle on our protractor the hard stop allows us to command the travel of the quill to halt when we reach the angle. If we notice the zero point on our dial indicator, we're stopping right at the zero. So we have the hard stop currently set to halt the travel of the quill at 45 degrees. Sometimes you'd like to be able to cut past or to use what we call a soft stop technique. In keeping with right-handed threads, we can remember righty tighty, lefty loosey. If we rotate the hard stop control knob to the left, notice that the needle can now pass the zero. We can cut past the angle and we're working on a soft stop. If we want to stop the travel of the quill, we just turn the adjustment screw to the right until the needle comes up to the zero. Now we're going to stop right on the angle. We don't want the hard stop control knob creeping in or out. We don't want this to change while we're working on the machine. So if this knob is loose, we just add a little bit of tension. That's all this other thumb screw is for right here, is to add a little tension so the actual adjustment doesn't creep around. So if it's, if it's flopping around loose, if it's creeping around on you, just tighten this little thumb screw just a little bit. It doesn't take a lot, and then you'll have more friction on this knob down here. I don't like to turn this uh, friction adjuster in so much that I have to loosen it every time I want to change the hard stop control. I just keep it with enough tension on it so that it doesn't creep around. That's my particular preference. If the hard stop always halts quill travel at exactly the correct angle, why would we not just use it all the time? And we would have perfect meets and perfect depth of cut, wouldn't we? Well, that's an idea that a lot of people have, but it doesn't really work out that way. Additional time in contact with the lap will cause the lap to continue cutting the facet. And minute variations in pressure on top of the stone can also press the stone a little bit further into the lap. And at the sizes that we're talking about, the depths of cut we're talking about in faceting, that's enough to blow up your meats. So we have to have some way of knowing how to control our depth of cut. In hard stop cutting, we listen to the sound of the stone against the lap, and we determine when it's time to stop cutting a given facet by how that stone sounds against the lap. In soft stop cutting, where it's possible to over travel, we're going to use the dial indicator, and we're going to watch the progression of the needle until it reaches zero, and we're going to stop exactly when it reaches zero, not past. It's possible to use this travel pass as a, a trick for cheating, but that's another advanced technique. What does it sound like when you've reached the depth, when you're using hard stop cutting? If we turn on the fastening machine, get our lap rolling, and you might notice that there's no sound here. We're not in contact with the lap. I'm going to move the microphone right next to the lap so you can hear it really well. Notice that just with a little bit of pressure, just light fingertip pressure, I can make the stone, or the test stop in this case, make contact with the lap. And we're cutting it. It's removing material with every rotation. You might notice that we're not making a sound all the way around, just hitting the high spot on the highest part of the lap. Hear the intermittent sound? That means we're only touching the high side of the lap, and that means that 
we've pretty much reached our depth. The sound it'll make in constant cutting is more like this. The squeak aside, you can hear that it's a constant contact with the lap. Once we reach our depth, we're back to that intermittent sound. And that's the indication that you've reached your depth of cut when you're using the hard stop. The way we know we've reached our depth when we're cutting with a soft stop is to set the soft stop by loosening the hard stop thumb screw. And it's getting a little loose. I'm going to tighten up my tension adjuster underneath there. There we go. You can see that we're set up to travel past the zero, which means we can cut past our angle. If I lower this so that we're not quite to zero, then when we use the fastening machine, as we begin to cut, we'll very quickly see that we're reaching the zero on the dial indicator. And as soon as we begin to reach that zero, there we are. We're going to lift. When we reach the zero, we'll lift. We know we've reached our depth. And yeah, we cut a couple of thousands off of this plastic test stop. So, for the sake of the video. Whether you're soft stopping or hard stopping, always check your control and your dial indicator so you know whether you're able to travel past the zero or not. Always make sure if you think you're hard stopping that you are, or that if you think you're soft stopping, that's what you're doing. If you're confused, if you leave this setting wrong, you're going to wind up with some problems. So always double check. Check your dial indicator. Can I travel past zero or not? And make sure you know you're hard stopping or soft stopping. And then cut with that sort of technique in mind. So this is hard stopping and soft stopping on the Facetron faceting instrument. Your controls are underneath. You may need to learn to reach them by feel. And it won't take you too much practice before you'll be good at that. Hard stop stops the travel of the quill hard at a given angle. A soft stop allows the quill to travel past that angle. There's a little space there in the sound. And do the other one more well. Better, well, 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 well,